I want to show one of the most interesting tools for hard surface that come with a mesh machine. And mesh machine is one of the most powerful add-ons for hard surface. It brings a lot of Maya tools and cut tools to Blender workflow. And just basically stuff that you cannot do with vanilla Blender or it's very difficult to do. And the add-on itself is quite interesting because it's kind of like a special case use scenario add-on. And a lot of people just simply don't know how to use it. They get it because they think it's cool but then they forget the tools and they don't use it. So let me show you just one tool. And I don't want to show you, you know, the basics of it. I want to show you some really quirky stuff. So watch this, right? The basic, you know, idea behind fuse is to basically fuse um, chamfers into bevels, right? So if you have this kind of a situation here and I select these faces, I can go to Y and fuse. So I could do something like this, right? Which is pretty cool. Or fuse, you know, individual faces like this to create bevel, then mirror to the other side, select this one, Y and fuse, you can do this, right? Now, really cool thing with fuse is that you have this tool called unbevel, which is basically unfuse. So let's say you have bevels running here and you have a bevel running here, just manual bevel. Removing the bevel on the top is gonna be an absolute bastard, right? But you can do this very easily with unbevel. So you select this uh, bevel here, go to Y, and you go to unbevel and Bob Jankle, then you select these, you know, or even I think you can select one face. Let me try this, unbevel, no. You have to select the loop, okay? So select the loop, unbevel, and then mirror to all sides and you're back to a cube. All right, that's, that's great. Now, let me show you some really cool stuff and, you know, some wizardry with um, this tool. So let's say I have these two faces here. So I have a chamfer and this face, and I'm gonna select both of them, go to Y and fuse, and, you're gonna get this by default. You can also scroll with shift and change the loop to bridge mode. And uh, you're gonna get this result or this effect. You can even uh, press F to toggle off. Actually, you can't do it in this mode, but in the regular mode, you can toggle on and off the caps. You can obviously change the tension by going to T and you can also press T and then go to width, which is a bit of a different thing. Then you can scroll up and down to change the you know number of segments, right? So that's one thing that you can do. Another thing that's really interesting, you can flip a bevel. So let's say you got a really narrow element, right? And I'm going to, you know, chamfer this. And this chamfer is a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit taller than, than it's wide. So now what I can do is I can just go to Y and fuse it. And you see, I'm going to get this result. But if you press R, you can flip it. So you can also flip a bevel, right? And then again, adjust tension, right? Um, you can click on presets, you know, all kinds of presets here and you're good to go. Uh, by default, uh, the tension in Blender is 0.7, so X, but you can obviously change it to something else. So uh, there you go. Now, next interesting thing that you can do, which is kind of going a bit deeper into the rabbit hole of, of this tool is uh, something like this. So watch this. If I'm going to and grab this face and let me just uh, actually solidify it with hard ops and scale this a little bit here make it larger let me just pop it to geo here and move it in here like this and you know uh, let me just make it bigger and difference and I'm going to maybe make it a little bit less wide something like this and you know kind of scale it so let's uh, apply this and scale this on Y Cool. And I'm going to apply it, right? So person smart apply. Now watch what happens when I'm going to grab this face and fuse it, right? This is where the real magic happens. Watch this. Boom. I mean, good luck doing this, you know, in vanilla blender. This is perfectly tangent here. So if you run, you know, a bevel on top of it, you see that surface is perfectly tangent, which means it flows into one another without any, you know, breakages and all that. And you can continue, right? You can, you know, grab these two and and you could, you know, run um, a fuse here, or you could run a fuse on this surface. I mean, you could do that. So you could go here and fuse that, right? Do you see what I mean? And obviously, before you do that, you probably what you want to do is you want to fuse these, right, to create a little bit of a, of a, you know, kind of like a slopey, um, uh, to create a bit of like a, you know, smooth um, transition between these. Then you select this one, you go here and fuse it, and you get this. I mean, you know, crazy stuff, right? So that's where you start seeing the power of this tool. 
Now, another thing you can do, for instance, is when you have, you know, let's say a chamfer here like this, right? And then this part, you know, sticks out. It's a little bit, uh, let me just scale this down and I'm going to move these, uh, these edges here and the mirror to the bottom, nuke these and, uh, you know, and mirror to the other side. So we got something like this, right? So now if I select this one and go to Y and fuse and shift scroll and for example, uh, increase the, uh, the number of segments here and, and there you go. And you're going to get something like that. Okay. Which is also pretty, pretty wild. Right. Another thing you can do is you can select these two, right. And then sort of bevel them outside. So Y and fuse, this is not going to work because we have, we have angles somewhere. Oh, we have angles here that we need to nuke this stuff. So let's just clean that. There we go. So let's try it again. Um, you need to have quads in order for the fuse to work. Otherwise it will not work. There we go. And now watch this. If I'm going to change between the bridge, so hold shift and scroll, you can change the tension of it. So sometimes this is going to work better. Sometimes this is going to work better. And in, I'm going to change the tension to one. So this number, right? Tension one. Then I can um, run a, you know, kind of a perfect circle here in the middle. So connect them with J and then go to uh, D with box cutter, change to circle, enable dots, hold control and you know, and you can do stuff like this, which is pretty cool. So again, uh, very powerful tool and you can do some crazy stuff with it. Now, obviously I could, you know, still, for example, bevel this, right? In addition, going forward, let's just apply this. What I could do is, you know, grab this, you know, this whole, um, this whole element here and fuse that, right? So fuse, boom, and you can do this. And in here, we're going to have to switch the method. So Y fuse and hold shift, boom, there you go and sort it. And then alt X to the other side with mesh motion, you get this. So you can see like how fast you can build shapes and change them. And guess what? Now, if you want to remove this bevel, you know, which in Blender wouldn't be, well, this wouldn't be actually very difficult because you could select the whole bevel and simply align it to the left, but you can also, you know, go with unfuse, right? And unfuse it. You can even unchamfer it, right? If you do that, you're going to be back to this sort of, a, you know, a geometry on this side, right? So again, it's extremely powerful. And if you, you know, learn how this works and you understand, you know, what makes it tick, you can do some crazy stuff. Not a, not a really cool way of uh, kind of uh, thinking about this tool would be to, well, yeah, let me just uh, grab this and split it and move this one in, right? So I'm going to go Alt E punch it. And I'm going to punch it in here. And maybe actually I could, uh, I could dissolve this edge. So I'm going to have a chamfer and then I'm going to have, you know, these two edges here. And then I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to fuse it. So I could do something like this, or I could, you know, select this whole thing and fuse it, right? That's not a way of doing this. Um, so let, let's just fuse that. And then we could, you know, grab these two edges and, you know, fuse these, right? But you see, if we, if you do this, you're going to have uh, this edge being uneven, right? So how to do this, right? Well, what you can do is, you know, control B this, you can select this one with machine tools, go to alt R with uh, Deus Ex machine tools, edge constraint, shift and tap Y to straighten it. The same here, you know, you go to alt R shift tap Y and you got now straight edges. And then you can grab these two uh, here. Uh, well, let me just uh, grab these. Yeah. So then we can just grab this element here, right? and go to Y and fuse. And we can do the same thing here. And Y and fuse, right? And uh, whoops, one more time, Y and fuse. And you got this sort of a situation, right? And now you got perfectly straight bevels. Normally, they will be just crooked, right? So again, try to use both add-ons at the same time, mesh machine, machine tool, hard ops, box cutter, they all work together. And this is why it's so important to follow, you know, what structured curriculums so in, and courses so you can learn the whole workflow and learn all these tools in the settings, which is why I highly recommend you grab our course, the ultimate guide to hard ops and box cutter 2.0, which is going to introduce you to a very powerful workflow for hard surface molding using add-ons, which is going to allow you to work eight times faster. And we're using over there hard ops, box cutter and machine tools. 
and you can just throw on top of it mesh machine, cable rater, material works and other add-ons and you're gonna be unstoppable. Right, well that's it for the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.